the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and it doesn't take much. You know, bro, we should we should probably start now, guys. So yeah, let's start now. So number one, guys, is uh, go to myinvestingclub.com slash meetup. So we are throwing a free meetup, a free event in Provo, Utah on August 19 to 21. So it is 100% free. All you have to do is register. So go to myinvestingclub.com slash meetup. Click the first link, which is register. That's basically asking for your name, your email address, whatever it is. Just fill that out. It's literally five questions. It'll take you less than 60 seconds. And that is your free entry into our event, guys. And after you fill that out, you go to the second uh, step two, and it shows you hotels, discounted uh, rooms. It shows you transportation. I think there's like a, a very cheap bus that could take you there too. And there's, we have everything set up, guys. We have everything ready for you. And the way the event is going to work is this. August 19th. We're going to have a small meet and greet at night between the hours of 8 p.m. and midnight. So you, if you come with your wife, your significant other, you guys can go out to dinner and then come to this small, you know, meetup. This is for people that are here a little bit early. This is for people that don't really have much plans at night. And you get to come and, you know, network and meet with other traders Friday night. Saturday night. Free? The fuck we doing? <laughs> hanging out. Just hanging what out. The, what the fuck are we doing, dude? Yeah, you want to give us enough free shit? Yeah, you're right. I mean, we, we give we give him free food too. We can. <laughs> I think we gave him some. Somebody. I think we got pizza and beer or something like that. Yeah, so, it's pretty much Friday's gonna be casual, guys. Friday's just gonna be like if you if you are just trying to meet other people in the area, that's what Friday is. But Saturday is gonna be the meetup. Saturday is why we are all here. Saturday is gonna be from eleven to three. That is where you get to meet me. That is where you get to meet Bao. That's where you get to meet James and Tom and Harry and all the MIC team. And, you know, we're going to kind of just talk to you guys about trading. We're going to answer some of your questions there. And we're going to kind of highlight some members. Maybe if you guys have a question about trading, maybe if you guys have been struggling about trading, maybe come up and talk to us. This is your opportunity to meet, talk, and network with other multimillionaire traders. So that's going to be the meetup from 11 to 3. After that, we're going to go all back, rest up a little bit, maybe get some lunch or dinner. And then we're going to have the after party at 8 o'clock. So we're going to have the success trader, the broker after party at 8 o'clock. We're going to have some beer, some seltzer, some whatever it may be. And this is us just hanging out all together, having fun. It's, trading is very lonely, guys. Trading is very, it's very hard to find people that like trading. But, you know, we're trying to set up a great way for all of us to get together and talk about our passion, which is trading. So that's going to be Saturday. And then Sunday, everyone is pretty much flying home. Or you can stay a little bit longer and go see Salt Lake City, go visit around Utah, whatever it may be. So that's pretty much the plan. It's 100% free. There's nothing attached, no strings attached. We're not trying to do anything crazy. This is just our way of giving back. And this is the, the lifeblood of MIC has always been throwing meetups and meeting our traders, you know? Yeah, anybody can attend, guys. You, you do not have to be an MIC um member to attend you don't right. have to even like us to attend <laughs> yeah come through come through it's gonna yeah. be i mean we try yeah. to throw these meetups as often as possible and it's been very tough since the pandemic but now that all that stuff is ending you know we're ready to kind of meet our traders again you know yep if you're if you're skeptical if you're a troll come along we'll 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 help you out as well because most of that comes from the fact that you're losing and you've been scammed by other chat rooms and services so that's why we opened this up to everybody so yeah. notice we're, we're the only ones that run these things uh pretty much like every quarter yeah uh, we we meet you guys we want to shake your hand you know so you're gonna see the fact that you know there are actually legitimate people out there guys that really want to help you guys so and this is your chance to meet the broker as well we are using success trader as our primary tool for execution and this is how we get all the hard to borrow stocks to trade, all the hard to borrow shares to short. I mean, today, let me show you guys. Today, I made. Yeah, go over that trade. Let's talk about what's going on. So, let's go back to the topic why traders lose. So, let's start with why traders win. So, show your trade first, and then, uh, and then we'll talk about what people are doing that is causing them to lose. Because, yep. you know what? They. You're shorting, we're shorting these things, which is an obvious short. Well, it's not obvious. It's obvious at the end, obviously. But, but you know, why, you're why would you long this stock that we go short, right? So let's talk about this.
Okay, so let's talk about I and deal guys. I and deal guys. So I and deal is very important to make note of because this is a stock that's a former runner. So the first thing we do is we always look at the daily chart. And as you can see on the daily chart, it made an abnormal move from five dollars all the way up to eighty-seven dollars. And this was actually my biggest trade of the year uh, this year. Uh, I think I made like $670,000 on this first red day candle here. So I know this stock's personality very, very well. I know that every time this stock pops up, whether it be here, whether it be here, whether it be here, 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 it always gives it back. It always gives it back because as you can tell, there's people stuck. Anytime a stock is downtrending like this, anytime it bounces, anyone that's been long wants to exit for a profit. Imagine you've been in here since you $15 a share, $18 a share, and it's trading at $5 a share. Well, shit, if it goes to $8 or $9, you're like, you know what? I'm going to cut my loss, and I'm just going to get out. And that's where these bag holder setups come from. So IADO was actually – I went long this morning, guys. So if you look at this candle right here, we, we were in a market. We were in a market where – longs were being rewarded right so pre-market pre-market a lot of stocks started going crazy so i took a chance on going long a hot stock of the day when it broke out and i went all the way up and i started selling it on the way up now what ended up happening is this move over here was a pump so people started pumping it around here and my thought process was okay i'm gonna sell the long and i'm gonna flip short because this to me is not a normal day one setup this is a day one setup that has bag holders and that has longs that have been stuck on it for months, if not weeks, if not a year now, right? So I'm anticipating and I am assuming that these longs that are in this stock are going to exit and cause a massive layer of resistance. So I basically sold my long here and I started scaling in short, right? I started scaling in short when VWAP was breaking. Hey, Sorry, and man. after, and as VWAP, <laughs> oh, you got some subway? Nice. So as VWAP was breaking here, guys, that is when I started to flip my bias. I started to flip short. And as it went in my favor, I took some profits. Now, the reason why I take profits, guys, is to give myself a cushion, is to give myself a padding in case things go wrong. And it bounced, it failed, and I pretty much just covered on the wash, although it went much lower without me. This was a pretty great trade. And the reason why I felt so comfortable sizing in on INDO today is because it wasn't a normal day one setup. There was so many sellers that have accumulated over the past weeks and past months that it'll be very hard for a stock like INDO to bounce because there's so many longs that are stuck. So when there are so many longs that are stuck, when it's already made a crazy move in the past couple of weeks, past couple of months, Inexperienced longs try to buy it thinking that it's going to go up to $85 again. And experienced educated shorts know that that's a high probability of that not happening. So all of those factors coming in gave me the confidence to be able to say, you know what, I'm going to size up on this stock. In addition to that, it was not the only stock moving. We had HSTO moving. We had KSPN moving. We had GOEV moving, we had PLRX moving, and we even had AMC moving. So there was five different stocks in play today. So because there's so many stocks in play, traders' attention span is spread. If there's only one stock moving, every single trader is focused on that one stock. But if there's five stocks moving, chances are there's gonna be, it's going to be a free-for-all. You can trade whatever you want because nothing is going to be crowded. So INDO was not crowded. INDO wasn't a normal day one setup. INDO was pumped. INDO had bag holders and INDO broke down pre-market. That's what gave me the confidence to size up on that. And on GOEV, GOEV was the hot chick of the day. So let me pull that up as well. So GOEV was the hot chick of the day. And I mentioned to everyone in the room, let me actually pull up what I mentioned so that is very clear. Give me one second. Uh, KSPN. It, it trapped all the way to five something. And yep. seven bucks now. <laughs> I think 750 is probably a solid short for that. Crazy, man. But uh, but notice what Alex is doing. He is putting together all of the pieces. Of, he's like he's like a detective, right? You see, he's putting all the pieces together to formulate a big, big picture, right? And then once he paints the picture, he can better assess. So don't just use one 
bit of information, right? You have to gather all these things. And all these things require experience, but you don't have to lose your money to, to experience these, right? Because we, 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 we lost our money in the past because we, we focus only on one thing, right, Alex? And so now you're looking at the whole picture. So that's, that's how he's able to come up with all this. So The more information we could gather, the more it helps us, right? And I and deal, because I've traded this stock so many times in the past, I know the personality of the stock. You have to think of stocks as different people, different humans. They all have different personalities. And I know that unless INDO has some sort of life-changing catalyst, it's probably not going to ever make a move back to $80. And all the inexperienced longs that see those moves are like, oh, my God, if I just buy it at 7 even if it goes to $20, i will be rich. And that's you can't, you can't be trading based on gambling. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Also, the next one is GOEV, guys. So I mentioned in the room GOEV right here, if you see at 9.38 a.m. I said GOEV is not a trade for me, but I see a – a 475 break as the first sign of weakness and under 450 for some continuation. So on GOEV, what I did is I waited for 450 to break, right? I waited for 450 to break. When it confirmed, I added and I just covered on the way down to four bucks. That's 50 cents a share right here. That's all I needed. And that trade took what? Uh, 10 minutes. So I don't need to get the top. I don't need to be the first one in. But when it does confirm my thesis, I'm getting in and I'm scalping it out. That's it. And that yep. led to... Yo, fucking huge day. Uh, the, 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 the beauty is it's out of nowhere. No, There's no way we would have known that coming into the day. I mean, that, that's the whole thing, right? So you have to keep training your, your process. And your process is going to, you know, sometimes it spits out singles, doubles. And today it spit out home runs. Now, you've been seeing it every day, bro. Maybe 1,000 I'm making, maybe 700 I'm making, maybe 1,500 I'm making. I'm, I'm staying small, guys, because I'm trying to preserve my mental capital. I am trying to make sure that I don't exhaust myself mentally trading subpar setups and being stressed and being depressed and being under pressure because then you start to force trades. Meanwhile, for me, I'm showing up every day, small trades, small trades, small trades, but then, fuck, when I see an INDO showing up, I'm like, you know what? This is a higher probability of going in my favor. And that higher probability is why I want to size in on that stock today. Yep. And the beauty is this. I'm, we keep telling you guys this. Do not quit your day job. You know, you have to have something else to do. Otherwise, you're going to sit here all day and lose your money. So Alex finishes the, easy, the easiest trades for a short seller is in the morning. HSTO is tanking, Bow. Is that an offering? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just wait. No, I'm gonna look. Son of a bitch! I had some too. What the I fuck? Is blind, going, look at this I, dude. Look at this fucking. I handle. put a blind cover in to do the IG live and fuck. Dude. Oh my God. So the, this is an offering spree, guys. It looks like dude, uh, what the fuck? five million private placement. Son of a gun. Fucking motherfuck, bro. Oh, dude. I just ah. Uh, look at that candle. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah. Uh, let me see how many left. Fuck. I just covered up. <laughs> Blind. Dude, so look what happened today. Today, three offerings, bro. Two or three. Two of them. Are there. <laughs> what the Yesterday fuck? was one. So that's what they're doing, man. They're running all these things up during a bear market so they can raise fucking funds to keep survival mode during these offerings. Right? So you, you see the, the climate change, guys. So you have to be aware of the, the environment that you're in. So the small caps, you know, wait, I don't give a fuck what IBM does. I'm looking at all the small caps. Right now, the small caps are running all these pieces of shit up to do an offering, guys. So keep that in mind when you're trading. That's fucking nuts, dude. That's crazy, man. That's Who's that's next, dude? Who's holy next? fuck. Holy Who's next? shit. What the fuck? Oh, my God. But you know what it is, you know what it is guys? Keep this in mind. The stocks that we're trading, they have an edge. The stocks that we are trading have an end game. Their end game is to do an offering. So you see that when we're trading these stocks, the stocks that we are selecting, the stocks that we are focused on are garbage, terrible, horrible companies that always end the same way. They don't always end in an intraday offering. When was the last time we saw an intraday offering? And the last time we saw two intraday offerings in the same day? I can't remember two, bro. This is crazy. I think someone mentioned, someone mentioned that you, the last time it happened, you made a trading fish video, like you were live, and it happened. Live. Oh yeah, there was a, the Trading Fish Academy that we caught offering live. 
We, 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 we were actually live short offerings all day long. Yeah, we were actually short an offering. I, I think we were. I was talking about something about that, and then fucking offering came. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. Wow. So, so the guys are in my If you watch the Train Fish Academy series, let me um, actually pull up that video about so that screen, my- screenshot that for us. Um, and then let us know which video because I totally forgot which one. But uh, but yeah, we we call a live offering during one of those videos. Um, but but knows what we're doing. We're just training the process, guys. So but if you're so the the, the key is this. So knows what Alex is doing, guys. He's trained the first of all. He's trained the right setups, stock selection. He's trading at the right time. Not only is he trading the right stock selection, he's not trading the midday bullshit. Right, he's trained the first hour, and then he goes to his work. His work is obviously helping MIC members. So, um, you, all of you, do not quit your day job, guys, because what are you gonna do for the rest of the fucking day? You're gonna bleed out your money. So keep your day job, supplement your income, and that's been the secret of, in my opinion, my success uh, when I started doing this. Because there's, there's no fucking way that if you quit your fucking job, you're gonna be stressed for money, all this stuff. So right now, have another source of income. And couple many income through trading. So that's I'll check this out. I found the video. Okay, I play that. Let me see. What would we can? Which um, video? Post, post the link. Four dollars short. See, if I had a short, if I had a short, holy crap! What happened, guy? Was there news? Did the offer come out just like TNXP? That was like, avoid, 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 avoid. <laughs> Them for a short, dude. I would make so much money on this shit. What, 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 what year was that? That was like a few years ago. Huh? This was, let me see, December 7, 2018, Bow. December 2018? 2018. 2018. <laughs> oh, man. That's pretty funny, dude. What was that? Fucking four years ago, Bow? It was the last time it happened? Well, that's the beginning of the MIC. That's, yeah, that's uh, September, October, November. That's four months after MIC started. Wow, guys. So this is um, if we we come full circle, guys. I I totally think it's fate. This is our fourth annual meetup in in Utah. I definitely advise you guys to fucking go. The <laughs> markets are slow. Um, the economy is slow. If yeah. you book your flights now, it's pretty damn cheap, man. We chose Utah because it's cheap. The hotels are cheap. The food is cheap. Yeah, everything is really cheap. It's really affordable, guys. And this is this is a really great opportunity. It's like. You know, I don't, I don't want to say anything crazy, but like, what other opportunity are you going to have to meet me and Bao together, just talking about trading? Trading is our favorite thing to talk about, right? It is our passion, right? It's something that we love. So this is going to be a great opportunity, guys. So, I mean, yeah, Bao, I think. Okay, so I, we talked about, we talked about what to do to be a good trader. Now, what do people do that makes them bad traders? Yep. So, the, I, so this so today started really normal. Like a normal day. Next year, you know, one of them. I don't want to put any members down. To be honest, uh, uh, there's, this is nothing personal, guys. The reason I scream at certain times, uh, I scream at at the room because I I I have so much passion. I do not want you guys to lose your money. So there's no other way. I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit. I'm gonna tell you like it is, right? If you if you do something fucking stupid, I'm gonna say, do not fucking do this shit. I would rather you hate me than for you to blow up your entire account. Yeah. So today, one member who who's a new member, I'm pretty sure they didn't watch any videos, okay? But then they, they, they saw it just because the stock goes up, KSPN. So KSPN halted and went up, okay? And then the first question they're asking is, what's a halt, right? Can you trade? Their, so basically, the, we, we already know that you're a new trader. You don't understand what a halt is. And so I'm like, okay, we, you know, we will answer those questions, no problem. Next, the, the next question is, should I short this at this particular price? I am like, what, what, wait, you don't even know what a halt is. And then you're asking, should you short this? So the, the answer to this, guys, if you have to ask someone, if you have to ask someone if you should enter the trade, you're not ready to fucking trade. Correct. Right? It's Correct. like, if you are so unsure of the trade, do not trade. What are you doing breaking every single rule? The rule is like, dude, this stock is going up. It's front side. It's, it's the hot check of the day. You're shorting into it. Okay? And so I'm, I am, I am kind of like, you know, sometimes I just kind of blow up. I, my apologies. But, you know, I'm just, I want to make sure that everybody, everybody does not do what they do. Because I am sure there are a lot of quiet people out there that are just shorting anything that goes up. Yeah. Okay? That's not how you make money. Knows what, it's, trading is kind of counterintuitive. 
Okay. In real life, you want to buy things on sale. In reality of trading, you are you don't want shit that's on sale. It's on sale for a reason. Alex is shorting. We're shorting shit that's broken. That is going down. You the shit that's in the clearance bin. You really want to buy a fucking uh, <laughs> an old T-shirt from fucking 1970 from fucking yeah. Well, that's classic, but <laughs> 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 but you don't think they're coming back. But you don't you don't mean like it's out of season. You're like. Like what was it, Alice season shit? Like a oh, what was what was that fucking brand that people used to love? Ed Hardy. <laughs> you want to fucking buy yeah. yourself a seventy dollar Ed Hardy T shirt? <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, guys, I understand people are excited to trade. I understand people are excited to make money. I understand that you want to progress and get better. But there are steps and there are building blocks. And step one is always being educated. It's totally fine to have questions, right? It's totally fine to say, what is a halt? Or how do I do this? How do I do that? But if you don't know the basic concepts of trading and you are trying to trade the hardest stock of the day, it just does not make sense, guys. It does not make, I personally, me, I did not trade it. So if someone of my eight and a half year experience is not trading it and your eight and a half day experience, you're going to trade it? No, that's the thing, guys. Well, the first thing you always got to do is you have to educate yourself. Otherwise, it's pure gambling. Imagine sitting down on the poker table and you don't even know what a straight beats, right? Does a straight beat a flush? <laughs> you know, you're asking the table and that kind of shit. And you're like, what the fuck, right? Yeah, like, what are you doing here, right? What are you doing here? First, educate yourself with the rules, right, guys? The rules, the, the process, that's what it is, man. You don't, you don't like walk up to Mike Tyson and you don't even know how to throw a punch, right? So, and we uh, try to simplify too, guys. Like, I have a member today that messaged me that was trying to go long INDO. INDO we identified as the most broken stock on the day. So I don't know if you guys are just ignoring us or if you guys are just trying to gamble, but on the stock that's broken, on the stock that we are all looking to short, that is not the stock to go long. The stock to go long is the hot stock that we're telling people to avoid. So guys, use the watch list. Use the commentary. Bao and I are literally guiding you pretty much second by second on these trades in the room. All you have to do is look. And if you want, pull up your phone, pull up your iPad, just have it. Oh, can you hear you? Yeah, that's the thing, man. Yeah, I hear you. The thing is, like, you're, you're a new trader, and instead of shorting the ones that are the ones that we recommend, you know, uh, which are pretty that work, <laughs> you're going out on your own to find your own trades. I just don't understand, right? I mean, I can understand if you're a long bias trader, we, we uh, there might not be a, a big of a – a watch list for you guys but if you're a short bias trader there's no fucking reason for you to go out and, and venture on your own especially when you're new if your experience is different but you know the watch list is made for new and and new and experienced traders as well so start with that that's how you learn yep. um and, and and to first engineer all day we warned about not to short certain stocks like yesterday right. all day yesterday lrx do not short do not short i even said it might it's probably a good long yeah and so do the inverse of what and we it went up ten dollars a share since we started warning. We warned that thirteen dollars it went to twenty three dollars, bro. That's the stock to go long. Correct. So the things that we warned the whole room and the things that Alice and I avoid shorting are good longs. Yes. And so, yeah. people, and so the, the, the so when people ask like, hey, um, why don't you go long? To be honest, guys, it's 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 very difficult if you, I I. When I go both sides, I minimize both sides of the trade. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. And so if I focus on the short, I'm focusing for a, a so, some sort of signal, death candle, whatever, a signal to size in on the short. Yeah. If, you, if you're just thinking of going up and down, you can do that too, guys. But what's going to happen is all you end up doing is scalping little sides. Because, you know, you go up and down, back and forth. You really do not have a direction, right? You can do both. You know, that at midday, I channel trade. You know, that's small size. That's fine. But when you're going for these other trades, pick a direction. Because what's going to happen is this. When you're clear-headed, you, you know what the, what you want to do. You make a plan. Uh, if you But if you're switching biases back and forth, you're just winging the stock. So my advice to you guys is, although you can do that, pick a direction. That way you can get more, more, I mean, the thing's like you, you pick one side. Otherwise you're like, okay, I don't know what the fuck is I'm going to do. I'm just going to ride up and down. It doesn't work. Trading, trading could be gambling if you treat it like gambling. But in my, in my opinion, trading could be like Bao says, you could be the house. 
INDO, I was not gambling. I was not waiting for a blackjack to hit. I knew that this setup had a high probability. Trading is the only business where you could add more when you're already in the green. So wait until you have those setups that you are in the green in on those setups, those high quality setups, those high probability setups and the stocks that are gambles 50, 50 don't size in. That's a very good point. We always talk about the blackjack analogy where you can wait for uh, 20 black, you know, 20 blackjack hands. But Alex makes a good point. Now that you have a 20 blackjack hand, what, what other casino can you add more to your bet, <laughs> right? Yeah. And so that's a very good analogy, adding to a winner. Because, you know, like, you have a 20 fucking blackjack hand. You can add more to the bet. I mean, what, what the <laughs> fuck, right? Imagine you do that. Imagine you could do that in Las Vegas. Holy fucking shit, right? Because <laughs> you're rich, but oh, wait, that's fucking training. That's so not, not only can you wait for the premium hands, you can add more once you get the premium hands. Right. <laughs> So that's a very good analogy, brother. So, all right. So what else, man? Um, guys, I, I, I'm telling you guys, this is a big fourth anniversary. This is something that you should not miss. Um, and you free, have to get something. This free. Is the, next, Val, this I think is next it. year we got to charge $1,000 or something. I, I think, you know what, man? This is, the la this is the last free event. I, I, I think we that. just charge 20 bucks, dude. You know why? Because people value shit like 49 bucks. I'm, I'm telling you, I think with a lot of people come, if you just value like $29, something stupid like that, right? It's because right, they're, uh, they're, they're like, oh, we're going to do this all the time. No, dude. And you know what, man? And if you're going to pay 30 bucks, get in, you're going to be more focused, in my opinion. So I think ongoing, Alex, to be honest, we're going to charge a very minimal fee, even $20. If you cannot afford $20, there is no business for you wasting my time, wasting Alex's time to come. But the fact that you're flying here, guys, you're flying there, we, we, we decided, I mean, we're not going to charge anything. So, but uh, but think about that, guys. Think about yeah, how. I think, uh, I think this is going to be our last free meetup. Is what I, I, think. I think so, too, dude. I think next time we're going to start a very minimal yeah. amount because uh, if, if people are not interested in even pay like that, there's no reason to be there, guys, because we want focused individuals. Yeah. So I think that's right. it, guys. Go to, go to myinvestingclub.com slash meetup. Register for the meetup. The only way you could attend is if you register. We will also post this on our twitter so yep. see you see you guys cool guys thank you and, and guys make sure you click like on all these we have a huge youtube channel that needs a lot of loving so you guys <laughs> if you watch this shit pick click like guys please thanks awesome. thanks guys. see you back in the room